Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and today's video is all about painting everything black. And I'm exaggerating when I say that because I haven't painted everything black, but I did paint quite a few things in my house black recently and I wanted to share that with you guys. I did a lot of research before I did this project and what you would think is a simple project of just painting something, turns out that maybe it is or maybe it isn't. You'll have to watch to find out. But I did all of the research on all of these things. I'm here to share it with you so that you can hopefully get started on a project in your home a little quicker and easier than I did. If you're new here, I do all sorts of DIY, home, mom, all kinds of videos. So make sure you subscribe if you're into any of that. I'm also on Instagram and you can find me at Belle and Cotton. I share my personal life as well as my projects as I'm doing them so you don't have to wait for the YouTube video to come out. Oftentimes you get a little bit of a sneak peek on what I'm up to. So I decided that I wanted to paint my front door black and that's kind of what inspired this entire like overhaul in my house of painting all sorts of things. But I wasn't really sure if I could just paint my door. That was like where this whole thing, you know, kind of spawned from was like, can you just paint a door? Is, you know, it's already painted. Like, what do I need to do to prep it? That sort of thing. I also painted my stair railings, the banisters, the posts, whatever you want to call it. They were wood and I wasn't really sure if I could just paint those as well because I wanted to use something that was durable since, you know, railings get touched quite a bit. But I also painted the quarter round in my, um, in my house and it was wood and the wood matched the flooring that was in there, but it just wasn't a complete look for me. It has become really hard to fit in some of these house projects. So, you know, all of this took me a few weeks of doing it during nap times, but I want to share this with you guys because hopefully it will inspire you to make a change in your home. Something simple as painting your door or fixing the color of your quarter round. So I have lots of footage of the before, the after the process. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and showing you all of that. The doors of my house were pre-painted white. I just cleaned them with some simple green and I painted them with some Benjamin Moore Moore Glow and it comes in a soft gloss. Everything I used I will list in the description box below. Do you recommend removing the tape even between each coat while the tape is still wet because if you don't, it will take some of the paint with it when you take the tape up. And you'll see the results of that here and I just went back and freehanded it to fix it. I did not tape around the window above my door. Instead, I just went back with a razor to remove any excess paint that was left on the window. The base of the post on our stairs had some damage and I just went ahead and sanded it lightly and then I used some wood putty to fill it in. And after that was dry, I went ahead and just sanded it down really nice and smooth. Before I paint anything, I went ahead and cleaned it with some simple green just to get any oil off, make sure it was really nice and clean. Priming the stair railings because they are previously stained and I'm really not sure what they're stained with. So I'm using Zensers Bullseye 123 Primer and they probably could have used two coats of primer and I definitely will do that next time. I only did one, but I think it could have used two. I didn't want to disconnect this handrail from the post, but I did disconnect it from the wall. And as you can see, I'm just kind of working around it. I wanted the hardware on the wall to match the handrailing, so I removed them and I spray painted them black. The 
taping off the spindles just felt like way too much work for me. I would rather freehand them and then go back with some white paint and touch them up. Some of the quarter round that was around the base of the stairs just was cut awfully, so I went ahead and removed it, and instead of trying to fix it and repair it, I cut new quarter round. This wood quarter round was such an eyesore, I couldn't wait to paint it white, so I primed it with the Zinsser Bullseye Primer, and then I used the same white that I touched up my spindles with to paint it. I also took the opportunity to go ahead and touch up the baseboards while I was at it since our house is getting a little older and they needed a little freshening. I am so pleased with the results. Let me know in the comment box below what you guys think of this project and I will see you guys next time.